Joanne. You did an intro, right? Joanne. Joanne. Yeah. Joanne. Yeah. Joanne. <laughs> what is up, everybody? I am back after a couple weeks here, you know, just being being a dad on, on the side here a lot. So I've been enjoying that, loving it. Um, the training is going absolutely amazing. We're in preparation for the old now, I think 18, 18 weeks out in general. But today's a little bit of a different day. We're going to talk more about just training today with Joan. So Joan is here from right. Spain. Yeah. <laughs> so he lives in Spain. I actually met him when I did my show out there last year at the end of the year, November. Um, he went pro last year in bodybuilding. And then he just got done with his pro debut um, at the Imperial, Imperial, yeah, Imperial two Classic. Ago. Yeah, the two weeks ago. So what place did you get? Fifth or sixth? What? What place? Seven. Seven. So seven days pro debut. Really looks awesome. Um, he's 20, 20 what? 25? Oh, well, he's six now. 26. Yeah. So 26 year old, little, little phenom on our hands. So he is doing a little bit of a tour to kind of come over and see the United States. He was in Florida all this week. Um, he was just in Tampa, came over here for the day just to train with me, which I really appreciate. Um, and then he's going to Texas and um, Vegas. So hitting all the meccas of the bodybuilding, trying to get all that. And so I love that, man. This is really cool to see, you know, especially where he's at in his career. Go over, you know, while you can, travel the world, you know, meet all these people. He trained with Lunsford a few days ago. He's, I'm sure he's going to train with, you know, Nick out in Vegas and all these guys. So um, he's having a great, great time. But uh, he hit me up and he said, what do you want to train? He's he working around me. And I said, back. And uh, he said that's something that he wants to, you know, he needs to work on as well as I do. So we're gonna have a really good back session today. Um, What's that? I'm too happy to see you. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> he just, he just, and he's just happy to be here. So we're gonna have a good one, and hopefully we learn something today. And let's get after it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Twist like that as much as you can, so it's gonna catch. Okay. okay. That's fine. So like, keep applying that pressure. Yeah. So let's just kind of bring your lats forward just a little bit. Okay. Okay, but it starts here or here. So. Here, just okay. be here the whole time. Okay. And then just take an elbow drive down. So spring butt back a little bit. Yeah. I don't, want, I don't want you to lean back. I just want you to stay tall and drive in through here. So your elbow should be right about there. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we are doing <laughs> this is my him to call my MacGyver setup, so. I just threw some handles onto this prime attachment bar. Um, I ended up really, really liking it. So what you focus on here is I'm actually trying to get my elbows forward. So I'm initiating my lats. Um, so I'm staying straight up and down. I'm just driving my elbows straight down. I'm not leaning back and pulling my chest. I'm, pulling, I'm just pulling straight down in front of me. Well, with my elbows there turned in. Um, with here, I can actually just only go to a certain point with my wrist. So it's, I'm not, I'm not going to stay here. I'm actually going to turn it until it stops. And then I'm applying that pressure. So that supination kind of pressure the entire time. And when you do that, you're actually flexing your lats the entire time too. So this has actually been, I've been starting on my arm, or sorry, my back days with this lately. Um, just for a really good warm up, get the lats activated, and then we'll keep going from there. Right there, yeah. Good. Okay. Aim right here, aim right here. There, see that? Right here. There, there you go. <laughs> How many top sets do you do here? I'm gonna do two. So two working sets here. Do this one and I probably will bump it just a little bit. Um, I guess I'm still trying to figure out the top weight here. And then we'll maybe do some kind of squeeze here at the end because this is a great one just to kind of hold them in the contraction. Really focus on that mind muscle connection of, of the, the lats. <coughs> In it. Two more. In it. One more. There you go. Oh. <coughs> okay. oh. 
get you. Okay. One. <clears throat> One more. One more. Over. Yes, sir. Ooh. Ooh. That was good. Ripping off. <laughs> Yeah, a little time under tension here, so we're gonna we'll fi final back off. We're gonna pin it down, try to hold it two, three seconds in the hole where they're at full at lat activation, and then slow out of it. So we're gonna do about a three second stretch and do it again. So one second down, hold for two, three, three up, repeat. So just trying to finish it off here. We are doing a pullover machine here. So this is many different kinds, but this is the main one we have here is the hammer strength. Um, obviously you've seen me do many pullovers with cables. They're all the same setup, just different angles. So same concept here. We're gonna keep the chest lifted. We're just gonna show you. He's gonna do a really good job here. Get the chest lifted here and he's gonna stay there. So the back is off the pad a little bit on the lower half. Chest is lifted. And when he pulls his arms through, he's keeping that chest lifted. Because you gotta use your lats to create that motion to come through. If you've been down, you're just kind of crunching it down using some tricep push there. We want to stay lifted, use the lats, come down, pin it real quick, control back up to a full stretch behind this. So, full stretch, full contraction, keeping our body adjusted so we hit all the right muscles. So, this is going to create that wide V taper from the front, those big lats. number one question that all these viewers are wondering is what have you enjoyed the most out of, from the United States so far? The most I like in the yeah. USA? Yeah. Uh, gyms. Gyms. Yeah, probably. Yeah. In Spain it's too difficult to uh, search uh, or find one gym like this. For yeah. sure. And if in Spain is one gym like this, a lot of people. <laughs> it's impossible. We noticed that too. There was only like a few, but when they were they were packed, the ones we went to, especially in Marbella. Remember that outdoor one we went yep. to? It was dope, but it was like paddle was, club, paddle or something paddle like club. that. What? Gym, gym in Marbella. Ah, uh, yeah. What did I actually? Have you enjoyed any food here? What? Any food? Do you have any food here? Yet? No, I don't like food here. You don't like food I here? I prefer food. Really? Like, yeah. Too fatty. Here, yeah. the, the the meat is too bad. Click it or take it? Me, got it.
All right, we're gonna do one last set here. We did two working sets, straight sets on these pullovers. This one's gonna be more about less weight, but more about time and attention, obviously, with control. So I'm actually gonna do kind of a four count. So I'm gonna start in the back, I'm gonna do one with a quick pause, two, three, four, for pinning it, and then control in the back. So not just all the way through, you know, so we're actually gonna control each step of it, pin it, and then back through. So this kind of just slows it all down, make sure we're not just, you know, going really fast, swinging through, losing our form. We're staying tall. Finish it with four steps and then control the eccentric. So this one's really, really good just to kind of, like I said, get all that final blood in there um, and get a good, good stretch as well. To my current favorite single arm row. Um, so this is on the, the pendulum row, so the Rogers pendulum row machine. Um, so what we do set this up, you can do it two arms if you want, but I love doing single arm here, just because I feel it so much more. I feel this more than a dumbbell. You know, everyone's like, you gotta do single arm dumbbell rows. If you don't feel it right, if it's not working for you, then don't do it. So find things like this. Um, I really like this because your chest supported, so you're staying into the pad, and you're just driving that elbow. Your focus is to keep your shoulders forward. You're not opening it up. You're just driving that elbow past your midline. You're almost feeling like I'm trying to wrap this elbow around me to that opposite butt cheek. So I'm just trying to pull and really wrap it so then I can just feel those low lats really activating. So we're gonna work pretty heavy here today. This machine can get pretty heavy um, with a little bit of assistance, but we're just gonna run this into the ground because this is kind of one of the main movements for today. Yep, come on, come on, up. thing is we're eliminating our lower half here so once we get set we're setting our knees just slightly bent get into that 45 degree angle then there's nothing out of the legs maybe at the end of fluid on the head weights we might have to just for balance but our focus is to leave as much in our mid back just that thickness as possible elbows to your side drive up and squeeze
Yes, sir. Come on. Drive, Brett. Let's go. Straight set of four, so four to failure, then take two, okay? Strip down to two and then just do whatever you got left in you, all right? Extreme row, it's called extreme. And so, I've done it a lot with where you're in like, going neutral grip and working that mid back. Right now though, we've hit enough low lats, mid back thickness. Just got done with those T-bar rows. We're gonna work upper back now. So, like I said, when I train back, I like to hit all areas. We've hit front lats, we've hit side lats, we've hit low lats, we've hit mid back. So now let's work the upper back. Um, so, setting this up seat low, so you're really, you're gonna finish high. Flare our elbows just a little bit so we can really focus on that squeeze on the top of the back. Um, and then stay into the pad. So staying over it, driving through. You've seen me do, if you watched this before, you've seen me do the dumbbells a lot, where I'm over a bench doing dumbbell rows. This is like that, but it's with the machine. So if you have this, it's a really, really good option um, to really stay in there and not move. Pass you, the more back you're gonna use, you know what I mean? Like, so just keep, just pull as hard as you can. Yeah. Or for example, legs, Side quarters. You don't like it. Need more hands, you think? set here on the like I said prime extreme row upper upper back focus I want to do a cluster set so you've seen me do a lot of cluster sets on other body parts not so much on back but this is something you can do it because we're locked in there so I'm gonna do five reps and then I'm just gonna hang for 10 seconds so I'm actually gonna let it's far enough off the pegs that it won't be actually touching so I'm actually still gonna be contracting the back and holding the weight so I'll do five reps hang for 10 five reps hang for 10 five reps Hang for 10, maybe five more, we'll see. So either 15 total or 20 total, it's just wherever we tire out at. But you gotta keep that constant tension on it with that hang. So there's really no break, but there's just a couple, ten, you know, a couple seconds to get your breath, and then uh, you just gotta keep running to failure. Let's try it out. Three, two, one. 
So we're gonna finish here, more rows. Like I said, if you wanna grow your back thicker, denser, you gotta hit a lot of rows. So this one's gonna be a four row though, cable four row. Good finishing just cause you can get that constant tension. Um, we're gonna do an under grip here. It's a slight under grip and I'm aiming a little bit lower. So aiming a little bit more low lats, but that's what I need to improve personally. He does too, a little bit more back thickness, low lats. Um, we both have good traps cause we've done a lot of deadlifts in the past and stuff, but we need to fill in the rest of the back. So today's focus is more that mid to low. And uh, this will be a good finisher. We're gonna do it. We have one warm up, we're ready to go. Like I said, we've done a lot of volume today. So finish here, probably two working sets. And then we'll do like a drop set to finish. And then it's time to get out of here because I'm sweating like crazy. So let's get it. We're finishing up here. Uh, we're gonna hit a little drop set to finish. So two drops, um, probably six to eight first reps. So keeping the first one heavy, dropping at 30 pounds, doing failure reps, dropping another 30 pounds failure reps. So let's get, let's get it all out here. Like I said, I love to finish things with something challenging, some kind of finisher, some kind of variation to you know completely wipe you out. And that's what this will be today. So four row, drop set, finisher, Let's do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
on our back day. So, Joan, I want to say thank you thank for you, hitting bro. me up. You know, like I said, it's always good. That's the, I, I keep saying the benefit of living in Florida now is these things where these guys come in from either out of country, out of state, but then they do some, you know, almost like a Florida tour. So, yeah. stop me in different cities. I'm glad he came through here today. Got a good session in. Um, and, you know, we learned something today. So, thank you, bro. Yeah. So, we'll be seeing you a lot in the future. Yeah. So, make sure you check him out. Check out his Instagram. His, you, you, what's your YouTube? Just your name, Joan? Joan Prades. It's go. like J-O-A-M. Yeah, link in description. He's got yeah, link in description. Link in description. <laughs> he's got a lot more followers than me, so check I'm, out his YouTube. Sorry uh, for my English. No, I, I, be sorry for I promise it's gonna be that bad. I come here <laughs> another time. I learn more English. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, yeah, that was a really good one. I feel really good. Like he said, he he provided a good push today. We did a little bit more volume than I'm used to, but like I said, we wanted to get after it, um, and we had a really good session. And now it's time to recover. Um, and keep doing this. So have a good rest of your trip. Yeah. Enjoy thanks. Vegas. Enjoy <laughs> Texas. Um, and then get back to me and let me know. On Chicago, New York. <laughs> Chicago and New York. Let me know what you like the most. You can get it. some real pizza. What? Chicago pizza. Yeah. Nah, I, I, I won't look only Chicago bro. Yeah. But Chicago, Chicago style <laughs> pizza is good. <laughs> All right, well, hey, like I said, check out his YouTube. He's got a lot of good stuff on there as well. Um, and then also, I'll be seeing you guys weekly now. We got plenty of content getting going. The prep series is underway. Like I said, officially started. Um, haven't started cutting food or anything yet, but we have started all the process of the Olympia prep. So I'm really excited for that. It's gonna be a hell of a finish to the year. And you guys are coming with us. So keep liking, I gotta keep blowing this up. Uh, subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>